Unlocking the mystery, the phrase, throw a sheep's eye. Hello, and welcome to our English language learning channel. Today, we're diving into a fascinating and slightly quirky phrase in the English language, throw a sheep's eye. This expression may sound strange at first, but by the end of this video, you'll understand what it means and how to use it in conversation. So, let's unravel the mystery together. The phrase, throw a sheep's eye, is an idiom that dates back to older times. To throw a sheep's eye means to look at someone with longing or desire, often in a shy or covert manner. It's similar to casting glances at someone you're attracted to, without wanting to make it obvious. The term, sheep's eye, comes from the idea that sheep look very innocent and gentle. So looking at someone like a sheep implies a soft, tender gaze. Understanding the origin of throw a sheep's eye can help us appreciate its usage. This idiom has its roots in pastoral scenes where observing animals, like sheep, could inspire comparisons with human behavior. Sheep, with their gentle and somewhat timid gaze, provided a perfect metaphor for the kind of innocent, longing looks that people might exchange. Though not as common in modern conversation, it's a colorful way to describe a type of look that many will recognize from personal experience. Now, let's see how you can incorporate, throw a sheep's eye into your English. Did you see how John was throwing a sheep's eye at Maria during the party? It's clear he has a crush on her. I caught her throwing a sheep's eye at the last slice of cake, even though she insisted she was full. Whenever he talks about his childhood dream of becoming an astronaut, he throws a sheep's eye towards the stars, like he's still holding on to that dream. These examples show the idiom used in various contexts, emphasizing its versatility in expressing discrete interest or desire. That's all for today's lesson on the intriguing phrase, throw a sheep's eye. We hope you've enjoyed learning about this unique expression and can now confidently add it to your English vocabulary. Remember, language learning is not just about grammar and vocabulary, it's also about embracing the colorful idioms that make English so vibrant and expressive. Thank you for watching, and we look forward to seeing you in our next video.